So you can finally read live stream chat in Quest Native Games, not without its issues, but yes, you heard that right. Quest Update 50, which depending on when you're watching this video, may or may not be available on your headset yet, allows you to open the MetaQuest browser while you have another game or app open. I'll go over setting that up in this video, but I'll also include the classic text-to-speech option for those of you who might prefer it. First, a couple of things to note. Opening the browser overlay while in-game can be pretty laggy. In fact, while using the in-headset recording systems and having the browser open at the same time, it actually caused lag so bad that I had to restart my headset. For this reason, do yourself a favor, save yourself some stress by testing out the web browser in the game that you actually want to stream before you go live. That way you won't have that heart attack moment where everything's going wrong and you have to scramble to fix things and you're going to leave Adam Bombadi an angry YouTube comment about how it's so laggy. I told you so. Anyway, let's get things started. While in your quest and in the game you'll be streaming, press the Oculus button on your right controller to bring up the menu. Select the MetaQuest browser, and I'm going to show you for Twitch first and a little tip to help focus on chat and minimize the clutter. Navigate over to your Twitch page, go to chat on your profile, then you should see a cog near the bottom corner. Click on that and select pop out chat. Now you'll have a window that only contains chat and nothing else to potentially slow down the browser. For YouTube, log on to YouTube through the browser, navigate to Creator Studio, Content, Live, then open up the stream in the live control room. You'll see chat on the right and up at the top there'll be three lines. Click that, then pop out chat. It might say something like your chat isn't available. That's because you aren't currently live, but this will be the tab to keep around when you do go live as it'll turn on. Remember not to log into your YouTube account while you are streaming. For funsies, I checked if you could be in a Discord voice call with your quest, and you absolutely can. You'll have to get through the slight pain of having to log in via your browser, but Discord will pick up your quest microphone, and as long as you use voice activation, you'll be good to go, even while the MetaQuest browser is minimized. If you prefer to have your Twitch or YouTube chat read to you, you can always use the website speechchat.com. I've only tested it with Twitch chat though, so if you do use this for YouTube, let me know how it goes for you in the comments below. You actually want to open this website on your phone's browser so that you can use some wireless earbuds with your Quest 2 to hear chat and your game from your Quest 2 at the same time. That way your chat also won't hear the text-to-speech. First and probably most obvious, make sure you connect your Twitch or YouTube account to speech chat. Under the control panel, we have a couple of different options you can play with depending on your preferences. Lots to play with here. And there you have it. It's nice to finally have some sort of update for reading chat in Quest Native Games, even though I don't think it was the main intention and it is kind of laggy, but there it is. Feel free to check out some of the other tutorials on my channel if you're interested in learning more about streaming or recording VR. And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.